it's DIYs Forever here, and this is part two of my black dotted, polka dotted painting that would look like the Dark Knight Sky after. So I have paints, white, red, orange, yellow, green, purple, pink, and teal blue. Paint brushes, water, and a plate to put all my paint on. You can either watch the video part one of this, and that part one was my introduction to it, which I think you should watch, and painting this black because I didn't have any black canvases, but you could also buy black canvases if you wanted that instead of doing the extra work. So let's get started. First, I'm just going to use white because that's going to be the middle and the edges and the edges here too so let's start by pouring the white on the plate now you can't really see it because the plate is white too but that's a blob of white paint then i'm going to pick up a paintbrush put it in the water just do it lightly because acrylic paint doesn't need as much water so you want it to be damp right and i'm going to take the white paint you are going to go dead right in the middle, one dot. That's dead in the middle. And then you're going to do a circle of dots around it like so. So at around that time, it kind of looks like a flower. And it's like that. But then you have all these different colors to keep bordering around it with. And this project does take a long time, but it's worth it for the end. So you will always just wash this out. I'm not gonna use the same brushes every five seconds, but that's just white now. But then I'm going to squirt the red on because I'm going to put red on the border of that white pattern. Now that I poured the red on my plate, you would do two or three circle polka dot circles of it around. So I'm gonna start and see how much red dots, how much capacity it holds of my canvas. Cause I might just wanna do two, but I might do three. So you just do it in the border around white dots like this you can make your dots big you can make your dots small you can make your dots however you want as long as they are dots and as long as and you could do it in any color pattern as long as it starts with white that's what i think it should be because i think white would start it out and white would go on the edges i just think that's smart now i'm going to do one more thing of red here. Because I think that's pretty smart to do that. One more thing of red. And then I'd switch. I'm actually not going in rainbow style after this. I am going to use the color pink because I want to save orange and yellow for the end because like the border would look really good with orange and yellow as that I think that would work good like that but I'm just gonna make this dot a bit bigger broader mm -hmm. So next, I'm actually going to use pink, so I'm gonna pour that on my plate. All right, here I am. So I need to get the pink, and now I'm just going to do the exact same thing, but with an opposite color. This pink looks pretty cool on the black. Kinda looks like the night sky, just with a nice flare.
Yeah, it gives it a really nice flare. The pink I'm doing two layers of as well. But I'm gonna use a different brush here because this brush isn't working very well. Actually, I'm just gonna make those two dots there to make it look really cool. So that's how it is so far. White, red, pink. And now I'm going to add the green onto it. Uh, now that I have my green on my plate, I will take it and go around. And dab them. As you can see, I'm making these green dots smaller than the pink ones. So it makes it look like a galaxy. That's what I'm aiming for it to look like. And it could just look like something cool. It might not look like a galaxy every time I do it, but it'll still look pretty cool. That's what I'm aiming for. Coolness. If I have to like repaint one or two, then I can, because some of them are a bit faded. We're just looking for dots, not really like big, huge things. Right, and that's what we have so far now. So basically all you do is take all your colors and make patterns with them. And on the edges down here will be white. And once you use all your colors, it makes it look like a galaxy, like space, like there's a million stars or a million planets. It just makes it look really cool to me. So, that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do one or two more colors and then you'll be able to see what it looks like then. So this is where it's gotten to and right now I'm gonna use some blue. I have this one in a small bowl because it cracked so I couldn't use that paint bottle anymore so I'm using some blue. So I'm about to start with that blue right now. It's gonna be fun. With the blue, I'm gonna make smaller dots. Cause after the blue, I do the white. And then there's gonna be white and blue on the edges till the edges get finished. To make it look like the amazing galaxy, I'm gonna do the edges. I'm going to just wipe this blue off right now, put it in my cups. I wanna see what color that makes. It's like a disgusting brown. It's like a green brown, because it was orange, blue. That's basically what I just mixed, and it looks like green-ish brown. So that's what we have right now. Then we need to get the white. Here's the sky, here's the white. Nice to meet you, how are you doing, white? Let me start painting. The white's the main color we need here. Because the rest of the canvas is white and then the edges are white and blue. So I like it like that. It's really nice. So I'm gonna keep painting the edges 
white. When I come back, the whole top will be done. Okay, now here we are with the whole top finished. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to do the edges with my blue and my white paint. All right, so now I'm thinking of putting white on the top and blue on the bottom. So white stays with white, and then blue is just there to close it off to make it look really cool. But we don't have to wait for it to dry to do the edges. We just have to wait till it dries to pick it up. So we could do like these three edges, but then that edge I would wait to do till most of it dry, till the edges dry. So then you could turn it. So I'm gonna teach you how to do these edges here. So you're gonna take your paintbrush, slightly put it in this, I would like wipe it on the table or wipe it on a towel. Take some white and dab, dab. Just dab the paint. Don't like put a ton of it on. Like dots. Things like this is what we want. We want these small little things up here. There you go. So that's the white part of it right there. Now I'm gonna make the blue. I'm gonna show you what to do with the blue. I'm gonna take this paintbrush since it already has some blue on it. Take some blue from the bowl. And now we're gonna do blue dots below. Which would look something like this. You guys may, may do it a bit differently, you guys might do blue then white or you might do different colors with white but i like to do blue because the sky is blue and we're trying to make it look like the galaxy i didn't want to do green because it's like neon not like grass green it's the green i have so that's one side now i'm going to do the rest of the sides and i will show you when i'm finished and that's what we're going to do if any of your white dots strip like this, you can just wipe it off. It won't make a difference. Or you can mix the blue and white. It won't really do that much because it's just white mixed with regular color like blue. But with this project, always make sure to take your time with dripping. But if it ends up like this, that's fine. If it just ends up with a big white or blue mess, that's not what we're aiming for today with this project. Okay, everyone, remember this is DIYs Forever here. This is the top, a side, a side, a side here, and a side back there. So as you can see, I finished my awesome project and it does look like a really cool galaxy, but it did not dry yet. When it dries, it looks better than when it's wet, but it's, but remember, check me out July 4th, July 4th, there will be a posted video of a July 4th special that's going to be a July 4th DIY with the July 4th colors, red, white, and blue, and it will have, and it's going to be really cool, and I will give you a secret, red, blue, white, all those colors will be getting lighter. And lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter until we finish all right this is goodbye from diys forever here see you next time